I welcome you to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys what I call celebrity strategy in paid advertisement. And to start with, I want us to see the difference between paid advertisers and influencers and social media influencers. Now, what is the difference between social media influencers and paid advertisements? If you look carefully, there is similarity between influencers and advertisers. Now, to look at the differences, social media influencers create content online and they post it most of the time without sponsoring it, without running advertisement. And then their posts get millions of views, even without boosting it. So mainly they rely on organic traffic. Unlike what the advertisers have, for us advertisers, for example, we create content, but most of the times we have to boost it before it can get a lot of views. So the difference now is advertisers or paid advertisers rely on paid traffic. So that is the major differences. Let's look at another difference. That is difference number two now. Social media influencers start selling when they have gathered enough followers. They don't start selling immediately. If you see all the influencers, all the celebrities, when they first started, they were not selling anything. They were just posting for free. Nothing, they, were, they weren't selling anything. But at, at a point, their posts got viral. And before you know it, they have a lot of followers. It is when they have gotten a lot of followers before they start selling something. They start promoting other people's products. And they are getting paid for it. So that is how they make their money. But for most of the newbies, people that are starting advertising, most of them, they start selling from day one. As they are boosting their posts, they want to sell something immediately. You can see the differences now. I'm sure you see that. Okay, now let's go to their similarities. What is similar between paid advertisers and social media influencers? One of the similarities is that we both create and publish content. Whether you are an advertiser or a social media influencer, you have to create content, content like video, images, text, write-offs. So we create and publish it. That is one similarity between us and them. Then another similarity between paid advertisers and influencers is that we both build audience. We build audience of people that are interested in hearing from us, interested in seeing our stuff. Then the third similarity is that we both sell. For paid advertisers, we that advertise on Meta, on Google, on YouTube, our intention is to either sell our product or sell our services. Then for the influencers, their aim is to make money promoting other people's products 
or even promoting their own product. So that means both of us, we sell. That is similarity between us and them. One of the major mistakes that a lot of newbie in advertising make is that they start selling from day one. And for you in this Facebook ad mastery, I don't want you to make the same mistake. Don't start selling from day one. Because if you start selling, it will repel people. I want you to have the same mentality like the social media influencers. When you are starting, ensure you have built some audience, some level of audience before you can start selling. All right? So that you don't end up repelling people. You don't end up pursuing people. By the time they start seeing your post, they will be skipping it because you say, ah, I know, you want to sell something to me. You know? When you have gathered their attention, they are interested in what you are posting, at the time you want to sell, it becomes very easy for you to sell. Look at influencer, for instance, now. When they want to promote somebody's product or services, they don't need to run advertisement. They simply post on their page. And that post will get millions of views, millions of likes, millions of comments. And you see people saying, I am interested, I am interested. Because they have known that particular influencer for a long time. And they have trusted him. Because of that, whatever he posts on his page, they see it authentic. So that is the same mentality I want you to have. Start building audience first. At least get some audience before you, you start selling something to them. For example, though I am not giving you a limit of the number of audience you must build before you start selling. You can build like 5,000 followers, then you can start selling. You can build like 2,000, 1,000, but ensure you have some audience. Don't have zero followers and start selling i don't encourage that okay i'm sure you have some audience before you start selling to them so that your selling become easy thank you for watching this video see you in the next video bye
and I better do for that and more light in this time. Okay, let's move to step number seven. No? Let's move to step number eight. In step number eight, you need to boost your post. The reason you are boosting your post is so that Facebook algorithm can be used to you that you are not just starting, you, are, you have been running advertisement, you have some level of experience. And when you are boosting your post, I always recommend that the kind of payment option you will use and when you are boosting your post, the type of payment option you must use should be pay you option if you are in Nigeria. If you are not in Nigeria, your own option will certainly be there. But if you are in Nigeria, I recommend that you use pay you option because if you use any other option, that account may have issue because you cannot change it again. The kind of payment option you use when you are starting your ad is the one you use continuously. Okay, so ensure you use pay you option if you are in Nigeria. Then let's move to the next step, which is step number nine. In step number nine, create your business manager account. You know, when you are using business manager account, you have access to more tools that you can run at like a professional. But if you are built, but if you are boosting your post, you may not have access to other tools. You know, when you are using business manager account, you will have access to more tools that you can run at like a professional. Unlike when you are you are just boosting your post. If you are boosting your post, you will have access to limited tools. Okay. Then when you have created your business manager account, you will move to the next step, which is step number 10 add your facebook page and instagram page to your business manager account okay then you now move to step number 11 create your ad account and when you're in nigeria the type of payment you use should be pay you option select naira as your currency then you move to step number 12. In step number 12, add money to your ad account because you want to start running ad now. You add money to your ad account using your MasterCard, okay? Using any MasterCard of your choice. Then we now move to step number 13. In step number 13, create your first ad. And I recommend that when you are creating your first ad, use engagement objective. And the type of engagement you use is page like, so that you can get some followers before you start running conversion objective. The mistake some people make is that they start running conversion immediately. When you start running conversion immediately, you may have issue with algorithm because they don't know you. Why would you want to sell when they don't know you yet? So the best option is to get followers. And even having zero followers and running ad with it is a problem for your account. So when you have gotten some followers, though I'm not detecting the total number of followers you must have before you start running conversion objective. But you can have some followers, like you can have 1,000 followers, 500 followers, 2,000, 10,000. Whatever you are satisfied with and want to start running conversion with it, that is fine. But ensure you have some followers, okay? So these are the various stages you need to follow 
for you to get started with Facebook and Instagram ad. In the next video, I will show you guys when you need to select different kinds of objective. You know, in running ad, you have awareness objective, you have engagement objective, you have conversion objective, you have traffic. When are you supposed to select any of them? And that is what I will be showing you in the next video. See you in the next video. Bye.